Dear guests, it is an honor to be here. It is my first time in Hungary, which is a bit, uh, a bit of a shame, since Hungarians are a, a brother nation to Estonians. Uh, but I have to say, I have to say they have taken great care of me. The, the uh, 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 hospitality has been absolutely heartwarming. Thank you to the organize, uh, organizers and, and the staff. Now, CPAC started in America, so it seems relevant to refer to the American politics. It used to be said there that the right thinks that the left is stupid and the left thinks that the right is evil. That's why the left believes it has a right to vilify and viciously attack their opponents. Well, I think it is exactly the other way around. It is the left that is evil and the right is stupid for not recognizing what we are up against. You see, it is not stupidity by the left to try and destroy family, parental rights, normal, healthy childhoods. It is evil. It is not stupidity that irreversibly maim and damage children, both physically and psychologically, in the name of transgender agenda. It is pure evil. And it is not stupidity to destroy the best wealth-creating economic model, that is, the market economy, that has given us industrial production, abundant and cheap energy and innovation, and then replace it with neo-communist central planning that will lead like it has always led before to mass poverty, loss of personal prosperity, property, and to new serfdom. All in the name of climate action, of course. That is not stupidity, that is evil. And it is not stupidity it is to destroy nation states through mass immigration and supranational organizations that you can't vote out anywhere. But those supranational organizations stay and take power away from the people. That is evil. It's not stupidity that drives the crusade against free speech, open, robust debate in the name of stopping harmful or hateful speech. Of course, that is talk that the left just can't stand or disagrees with. Censorship is just evil. And if we do not recognize what we are up against, if we keep explaining it all away by saying that they are just naive, that they are just, uh, don't really mean it, that they will change their mind once they see the harm they are causing, well, then we really are stupid. You see, we are facing a full frontal attack on our civilization. Our freedom of speech, of movement, of conscience will be destroyed if we don't fight back. Our prosperity, right to private property, freedom of choice as a consumer will be destroyed if we do not fight back. Our nations, our language, our cultural heritage will be destroyed if we don't fight back. None of it is a separate issue. There is an evil intelligent design that binds it all together. It is still the same old plan to create a new man. This time, I'm sure it's a gender neutral. And it is still the same old plan to create a new society. And of course, in order to do that, old man, old society must be destroyed. And oh boy, are they destroying right now our civilization. The forces of evil have built an impressive network of people and institutions to destroy and to enslave us. 
They have successfully corrupted almost every Western institution, from media to academia to church to school and the army and the corporate business. They have corrupted the sports. And they have no calms in manipulating elections. So we, the normals, must build up a network of good to push back and take back what is naturally ours. Our freedoms, our prosperity, our very future. And that is exactly what we are doing in here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are up against an existential threat. So we must realize that we are not merely an opposition to the liberal, corrupt, globalist ruling class. We are the resistance to it. And united, we will prevail. Thank you.